Hey folks, this is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today I'm showing you a little area here. Um, this is where we did some winter hay feeding last winter. <clears throat> and it was one of our favorite spots, this whole paddock, basically because of the feeders. You, you see they make it the natural windbreaks around here. And last January, February, we had some of that, you know, 25, 30, 40 mile an hour winds with, you know, 5, to, five 10 degrees outside. and the wind chill some of those nights was, you know, 25, 30 below. And so you've got some of these great big eastern red cedars, and these are down in a draw, okay? But they form this beautiful little curvature here. And uh, <clears throat> we never got a very good graze on this piece right here. And that's because we have a high tensile wire permanent paddock division in the, gener in the general paddock out here. So this never got grazed. Well, last winter, we had the cows in this paddock. We unrolled hay in here. I think it was around two to three different times spaced like we'd get some snow on it and it'd be all cleaned off again we'd put some more hay out on the snow and uh, but this paddock previously was this this is love grass which is a fine grass for summer but it's just not worth that darn for winter as you can tell it's already turned brown it's went to seed uh, the leaves the leaves on it are brown but look what's come in. We fed hay on here. This fescue came in and just kicked. And the clover, look at the clover in here. We didn't seed this clover. Now, evidently, when we unrolled the hay, it had quite a bit of clover seed in it. And so the cows trampled this clover on the ground. But this is a really poor piece of ground, folks. I mean, you can tell it had cedars. We cut the cedars off of this piece up on the flat. That's how bad it was. It was moss and cedars. This has never had any lime on it, it's never had any phosphorus or potash other than animal manure and a lot of carbon. <clears throat> People say, but Greg, how long does it take? Well, it depends how much you put down. Last year, we hit this three times <clears throat> with big round bales, excuse me, 1,200 pound net wrap bales, and we covered this whole thing. So we had unroll a bale in here, and we had 300 head on what you see right here, okay? And so we were feeding three bales in the morning and three at night. And we did that three separate days spaced like, you know, a couple weeks apart. And so we put down a ton of fertility here, just a ton. Um, when we leased this farm back in uh, 2001, I wanted to show you this draw over here. This was all uh, pretty much uh, bare soil. And over the years that we've managed it, there's actually, we've got grass now growing on the side of the bank there down the middle of the valley. Of course, right over there where those trees are, the cows rub on that bare bank right there. So I've still got some dirt showing right there. Um, if those trees weren't there, of course, I'm not gonna do anything about them. Those are uh, honey locusts. I like honey locust trees, and there's a wild cherry in there. Um, you know, people get freaked out about wild cherry. Folks, if the wild cherry gets hit and, a, and that limb comes on the ground and it's wilting, they say, you know, that, that can kill cattle, but why are they eating that wild cherry limb? It's because they're hungry. I've never lost a cow to a wild cherry, so I'm not going to go out here and kill all my wild cherries. Plus, that log's worth a lot of money when it gets up to a saw log, so I don't think we need to think about killing everything we don't like. Uh, I don't think that's the right attitude, maybe. Um, but anyway, back to this paddock. If we walk out through, if we walk out through here, you know, it's just it's kind of hard to walk in this. So, how long does it take? You can do it in one winter. You can take a really poor piece of ground and unroll hay on it. Now, folks, we unrolled hay in here. We had wind rows, but then we took pitchforks and we spread that wind row out because we were feeding 300 and some head three bales. Okay morning and night this is just one big layer of carbon the cattle stomped a lot of it on the ground they pooped and they peed they laid in here because it was warm see that's north we're facing north those cows could lay in here they got good and filled up they laid down they were comfortable and they just nuked this and it's unbelievable so one year put a lot of carbon down you can go from love grass to this i mean Folks, there is some feed in here. Oh my lord. Oh gosh, got look at this, look at this. Look at this. Folks, this 
you all uh, a rare moment right here. Look at this. Earthworm castles. What? Look at this guy. I'm going to pick it. It's like picking a mushroom. Check this out. If I don't break it. Look at that. Now get the side view of it, Casey. Look at that. That's an earthworm castle. And look down the middle of it. There's this hole. So he sat there and pooped. And ate and pooped and ate and pooped all night long. And built that beautiful earthworm castings. Folks, that's pure gold. That's pure gold. That's why we're seeing what we're looking at. The earthworms. I just picked up one. My God, they're all over. Oh my gosh. I'm going to pick this up. Uh, it's just solid. Look at that. That's all castings. Earthworm poo. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> I just picked that, that one spot. But you're looking at... We're standing on our front catches out here. I'm going to get at it because I don't want to smash any more of it. The cows are coming in here. Folks, they would never graze here. There was nothing here for them to eat. They just now found it. That whole mob is going to be here probably within 20 minutes. Very excited. Folks, you all can do this. This is Greg Judy signing off. Thank you all.